Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 battle series. My name is Lee Osiris and we are going to continue on today with this team that you can see on your screen right in front of you. As always the team is down in the description below. There is a roll paste and a poker paste. Check out the details and try the team out if you would like to. We had a couple of really good games to kick us off in yesterday's episode. If you'd like to check that out um, you can click up here. I'll link a little card, the little eye icon. Click on that and it will take you over to yesterday's episode. You can see how we started off the week. Um, very good episode. We got to feature the majority of the team yesterday. Alteria had a really good game in our second game yesterday. So hopefully we can continue that on today. Some shenanigans with Cheninja were joyful to end up with yesterday, of course. Um, but just to recap the team for you guys, we've got the Alteria. It is the mega of the team, the Raichu. Landorus Therian. It's got the Z-move there. The Misty Seed on the Valtal, the Ultra Necrozma, and Tabu Finny. So without further ado, music is on. It's clicking. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent of the day. And uh, like I mentioned in our last episode, what we're doing this week is just a little trial with myself to see how well I can manage content of this quantity on the channel at the minute. Um, so we're doing a roulette series, which is running in the morning, every morning now at the moment, uh, 7 a.m. And we're doing this at 7 p.m. every day, Monday to Friday. So I hope it's a nice mix for you. You've got the fun in the morning and the serious in the, the evening. So, um, and we're mixing up with different teams and stuff like that. But like I said, it's just a trial to see how I can manage things. We might not keep this up, but it's nice just to touch base now and again with some competitive content that we have not on the channel for a while. But we've got a first opponent, Marcos R. And uh, we'll hop into team preview. <coughs> okay, so our first opponent today is running a team of Kyogre, Kingdra, Azelf, Tr, uh, Togedemaru, uh, ho -Oh, and the Stoutland. Man, this guy is 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 playing the roulette game, I feel. Um, okay, what are we going to do? We've got the rain. It's going to be an issue. Uh, Alteria are going to be really good here, I think. Uh, Evelto are going to be good as well um, with the Raichu, of course, for that fast fake out. Uh, do we want Ultra Necrozma? Maybe not. I think I'll go with the four that we went with yesterday. With Alteria, the Tapu Fini, Yveltal and Raichu. And I think we've gotten out with Tapu Fini against ho -Oh now with the Skull there. So it makes it a bit easier uh, to deal with. Uh, Yveltal going to be the main main piece of the puzzle in this one. So I think if we can support that well enough, it's going to be it's going to do a decent and really decent job. So let's click in and get this one underway. Yeah. Interesting team from my opponent, and uh, I've been seeing, um, I don't know if it's just law or other stuff, I've been seeing uh, quite a bit of ho -Oh recently, um, paired with, with different combinations, and ho -Oh still can do a lot of work in the Ultra Series, I think it's one of those Pokemon that's maybe a little bit underexplored, and one of those Pokemon that maybe a lot of players have looked past a little bit too much, um, because uh, obviously the, the, the uh, Mega Rayquaza Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon coming into play, but um, yeah, I still think it can do a really good job. Uh, so we're seeing the Kingdra and the Kyogre come out for my opponent. Um, we've got the fake out we can go for here. I think one thing we could potentially do is just switch into Tepu Finny, make sure that we get that Misty Seed boost with our Evelto. Go Tailwind, and then we can we can heal Pulse the next turn. Um, and start snarling. It's just about getting this speed control early on that, that makes a big difference. I don't want to keep Raichu in here. We can fake out one target, but the other one's going to damage us heavily anyway. And uh, Evelto will take a lot of damage in the process. Whereas if we get the Misty Seed activated, I think we can comfortably take a Water Spout and um, another Water Attack from the Kingdra, unless it is the Water Z move, which may be a bit of an issue to take. But We'll see how this plays out. I don't know what my opponent's going for here. We do get the Misty Seed boost as we switch in our Tapu Fini and get that Misty Terrain onto the field. The King are just going to protect this first turn to get around potentially that fake out as we see the Kyogre just double protect. So we get a free Tailwind up here, which is perfect. And that's one of the things I think when you're playing against certain um, teams. And this fake out pressure there, don't give them the opportunity to to set up and have a free turn like that. That's a big important lesson, I think. We'll just go for a Snarl and, um, yeah, uh, are we just Icy Wind, I guess. We've not really got too much else we can do. I mean, we can Scald. Could we get the, uh, it just, yeah, we'll Icy Wind, we'll Icy Wind, just in case something comes in, just to keep the pressure on. 
But it's a shame that we haven't got Nature's Madness. It's maybe something that I would definitely consider on Tapu Fini uh, over Haze. But it's just we don't really have a good way to hit um, other Pokemon that are, uh, that are water types. There's the Z move. It's going to be. I don't understand why you'd switch the rain out when you want to use the Z move. I think you need to keep the Kyogre on the field if you want to utilize that. Obviously, you've got the rain boost as well, so you're faster than everything still. You want to maximize this damage. It's your big centerpiece attack that you can utilize. You need to be taking advantage of that and keeping the rain up to boost that. It's just, it makes it so much stronger. Uh, whereas just not having the rain up really, really hinders your ability to do uh, a lot of damage, which is just a little bit of a shame. Uh, we do pop that air balloon that's on the Togo tomorrow. Get an icy wind off, of course. I'm going to slow things down just a little bit more so when that, if these Pokemon are out when the Tailwind ends then it means we've still got the speed advantage. I need to worry about the Togo tomorrow, of course going into this next turn. I'm going to just protect Evelto. Um, Actually I'm not. We could get faked out. If we get faked out that's fine. Um, and I'm going to bring in Raichu for Tapu Fini. It means that we've got fake out pressure the next turn. And uh, it also takes away any risk from that Togodomaru thrown out an electric type attack onto Evelto, which it's likely wanting to do, um, potentially after a fake out, of course. So there's the fake out into Evelto. We could have protected there, of course. Uh, muddy water coming out from Kingdra. Uh, the Snarl will be helping with this, of course. Uh, Raichu not really able to do very much going into this next turn because. Um, the lightning rod on the opposing Togo tomorrow. Uh, we'll go for another Snarl and we will just fake out the Kingdra. Not too worried about the Togo tomorrow at this point. Uh, the Veltal needs to be a little bit careful, I think, going forward. We are going to see the Holt will actually hit the field. Okay. Um, but we've got foul play that we can utilize. Spiky Shield just coming out from the Togo tomorrow. Uh, and we can lock. We can lock Togonomaru into that this next turn if, we, if we'd like to with um, with Encore. And the hot all avoids, of course it does. Of course it avoids! Damn thing. <laughs> it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we'll go for that foul play into the hot all. I mean, we could go for another Tailwind, but I do expect my opponent to maybe set the Tailwind up as well. Uh, we need to be a little bit careful at this point as well. Um, because the the whole all can set up their own tailwind, which could put them in a, a bit of a, a better position going into the next turn. Um, but I don't think we're going to be. Uh, okay, that's nice damage. There's the tailwind here yeah. from the whole all. I don't know if we go down to a brave bird this next turn or whether or not the whole all wants to potentially. Um. recover a roost or whatever uh, we'll try and match the tailwind of course um, and I, I do expect the Togo tomorrow to switch out here so I'm gonna go for a volt switch into the hot all now and make a bit of a prediction saying that the Togo tomorrow wants to switch oh no it's just staying in okay that's fine uh, if we can match there's a sacred fire where's it going it's into the right tune it will take us down but we're gonna match the tailwind now and the Togo tomorrow is not too much of an issue um, especially with um, it locked into Spiky Shield. It's all about getting the, the Altaria in now, maybe. So we get Altaria in. Mm. Alright, we can flamethrower. Yeah, we can flamethrower the Togo tomorrow. Foul play the whole. Or... Yeah. I think the Kyogre again is going to be a difficult Pokemon for us to deal with in the late game. Um, we'll foul play ho -Oh, and we'll go for Mega Evolve and the Flamethrower. But I mean, if we were, say if we're able to get rid of both of these Pokemon right now, um, we've got Parasong that we can we can totally nuke the, the last two Pokemon with. Um, if we've got the the number advantage, that's the big thing. Having that that numbers advantage going into the the next turn. So blue the Spiky Shield fail, fails. Oh, of course he gets it. Of course he gets it. It's so frustrating. Uh, we'll get the foul play into the hot all. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Um, oof, we take it. Take it. 
Hopefully the encore doesn't end now. That'll be... No, the encore does end. It's likely going to be the fastest thing on the field now. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Let's protect Ivelto. Let's go for a Hyper Voice. A Hyper Voice should be enough to get the heart off from this range. I'm kind of hoping it is. It's just we need to stall out their Tailwind. And then we're, we're st we've still got then our Tailwind up. Um, it wouldn't be good if we missed the KO on Hot Or. Our Hot Or protects. Okay, so we could have actually went for the Flamethrower into the Togedomaru there. Uh, what is the Togedomaru doing? Nuzzle. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, their tailwind pillars out. Um, the problem is, like, we'll get the. I don't think we're going to be able to get the Togunamaru here because I think it just protects. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Well, our tailwind is still in effect, so we get the hot or, and we'll get the Togunamaru now with this this flamethrower should be enough to get the the Togunamaru. Um, yeah. Okay. That's good. Uh. It's still going to be a little bit tricky because our Tailwind pitters out. Um, the Kyogre is going to be awkward to deal with. Uh, we need to get rid of the Kingdra. But I mean, at the same time, what we can do is go for that Perish Song. Um, and we could switch into Tapu Fini here. Just taking a Water Spout, which is the big thing. Um, can Altaria take... Do we switch into Tapu Fini? I mean, we're full health with Tapu Fini, so it's probably not a bad idea to do that in Paris Song. Yeah, we'll do that. And I think this will win us the game. So, hopefully Alteria can take a combination of Water Spout and Muddy Water, if that's the probably all Ice Beam Muddy Water. And Kingdra protecting, that's even better for us, because that gives us the win, I think, now. Uh, Kyogre Icy Wind! Nice, nice, okay. Um, yeah, but the, the, it's game now, I think. Like, we'll be able to stall out his power song. Switching around, protecting, it's gonna be easy enough to do from, from this point out. So, Perish Song! And it is a fairy type Perish Song as well, which is very nice. Um, so, yeah, count to three for each one. Some Perish action in today's episode to kick us off, which is very exciting. Uh, we'll go for an icy wind ourselves, um, and we'll just we'll just protect Alteria. We might see a forfeit, might not. My opponent might try to play it out. They might believe that they can they can get around <coughs> what we're doing, and they might possibly be able to. There's a muddy water from the Kingdra. I wonder what set this Kyogre's running. If it's got thunder, it could be a bit of an issue. But I mean, mm, yeah. And goes for it. Hopefully this doesn't take us down. It shouldn't and just pocket berry. Man. <clears throat> man oh man. Um yeah, so this next turn I think we just switch into Veltal. <sighs> I see where he misses. <laughs> ah, excellent excellent stuff, isn't it? So good. Um yeah, we'll switch into we'll go for the icy wind again, we'll switch into Veltal. And then I'll take it down to one count. We'll bring Alteria back in, protect, and that's game for us. Uh, we'll get rid of that perish on Alteria, and this is the, the like this is yeah we're able to do this, so it doesn't really matter if if a muddy water and a thunder hits here. Alteria comes back in, and the protect wins us the game. <clears throat> and maybe without the the perish song, I don't know if we would have been able to do it. I mean, we probably would have, to be honest, because a hyper voice would get the king. And then we're gonna have Ivelto, uh, Alteria, or Tapu Fini with with heal pulse still sitting on the field, able to heal pulse Alteria. So uh, either way, we might have been able to do it. This is just makes it a bit more easier to do, doesn't it? So we'll bring in Alteria, get back on the field, and we'll press that lovely protect button and uh, lock this one up from here on out so there we go and that is going to be game one nice win for us today very good uh, but again Altera doing some nice work 
um, against a bit of an unconventional team. Um, but a ni nice to see the variation as well. Really nice team built from my opponent. Uh, my opponent's still going all out. Fair play to them trying to get rid of this this Altera before the Perish Song takes both of their Pokemon down. So you see the Perish Song count go down to zero, and the Kingdra go down first, and this full health Kyogre go down. It's the easiest way to take down a full health Kyogre. There you go. <laughs> Pro tip: uh, Heavy Rain lifting and Altaria again. Second game in a row, sitting sitting strong on the field, ready to go. So. Excellent, excellent victory for the team. And we will move on to our next match. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find the next opponent. But um, I hope you're enjoying the team, uh, everyone out there watching. Um, it It is fun. I don't know if it's as polished as it could be. But this is why we do the testing process. Obviously, uh, games will be getting harder as we move further up the ladder. Um, but that's, that's part and parcel of, of Pokemon. Uh, you want things to be getting harder as you're going along so you can test it against the more difficult teams in the format and uh, hopefully we do continue to bump into them and uh, put the team through its paces and then we can identify areas where improvement is need to be made because um, that's a big thing obviously identifying where your team's weak against so you don't run into issues when you're in a tournament uh, you do all your issue resolving when you're when you're practicing on battle spot and it's good to just be able to identify exactly where a team may be going wrong you know where things aren't working quite well as where you thought they might be working um now alteria we're not going to get carried away with it it's done really well in the last two games but i'm still not massively convinced by it i still think uh hyper voices are maybe a little bit underwhelming maybe we want to look at that ev spread see if we can get a bit more damage out of it because there's been times where things are hanging on by a sliver and if we'd been able to knock those out then that would have made the difference so if we can we can move that ev spread a little bit that could be the thing that, that changes it for us but we've got an next opponent so let's get into it i believe we've played this opponent i don't know with this team or if we played them on the roulette series but we've definitely played them this week but let's get into it anyway so our next opponent is running Eveltal, Groudon, Gengar, Persian, Nihiligo and Tapu Fini. Yeah, I think we've played these guys on the roulette series. I don't know if the battle has happened yet this week or not, but um, I'm pretty sure we have. Or it might have been with this team. I'm just so confused. Played so much Pokemon today recording. So uh, who knows what it is doing. Uh, we've got the Eveltal, the Groudon. Uh, potentially Eveltal's got the Z move there, uh, setting up tailwind for the rest of the team the persian obviously going to be the the fake out pokemon nylego are going to be something we need to be very careful of um i think it might have been i'm not too sure but what i'm going to do is bring hmm, bring Veltal. we need something to deal with the tapu finny for sure i'm going to bring raichu to this match um and i'm going to bring ultra necrozma and i think do we want to bring groudon as well rely on them to bring tapu finny to activate our Misty Seed. Hmm. Um, it's all about getting our Tailwind up. That's the big thing for us, I think, in this in this match. Um, is Landorus going to be the one to bring in? Because Landorus would be pretty good against the majority of this team, to be honest. Um, so sacrificing Finny isn't the worst thing in the world. So let's get into it. And uh, good luck to my opponent. And hopefully we can uh, we can continue this 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 winning streak we're on. We're on three and zero at the minute, so four and zero would be amazing if we can finish off the week flawless. I'll be a happy man, and I'm sure you'll be happy happy viewers as well. So we'll lead off with Ivaltal and Raichu. Um, I see my opponent lead off Nihiligo Tapu Fini. So yeah, there's the misty terrain boost that we we were all looking for. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. We do like this. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, we tailwind fake out Nihiligo turn one, I think. What the Tapu Fini does. Probably Icy Wind, potentially. Um, yeah, tailwind needs speed control. Um, and if the Nihiligo does decide to go for a Protect here, then we can lock it in with Encore the next turn. It's not going to do that, of course. Uh, the Misty Terrain is actually protecting everything at the minute. Um, ooh, his. Hmm, don't mind that too much. I mean, it does get rid of our 
Um, special defensive boost. We could protect the Veltal and just Vault Switch into the Finny. And I think we'll try and get Duskman across more onto the field. Um, with well, that special defensive boost gone, does make it a bit more difficult. We'll get some nice damage onto the Finny though, that's the big thing. Really nice damage, critical hit, huge, huge damage for us. So Raichu pulling in the work there. And yeah, get Dusk Min in. Uh, we've got the Tailwind up, so even if an Icy Wind comes out now, it's not the worst thing in the world. See what this Nihiligo does. Ooh, it's gone for the Z-move. So good job we protected here. Um, means we'll be able to take it a little bit more comfortably going into this next turn. We know it's not sashed as well, which is a, a nice big plus for us here. Um, and then I think the next turn we concentrate down more on the Tapu Fini uh, because the Nihiligo got so pressured with Duskmen coming in that it's more likely to protect rather than attacking into Valtor. So um, oof, that was a crit as well, man. Veltal, he's a beast. Uh, okay, heal pulse. Healing it up, but it's not really going to protect it from a Sunstill Strike. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get rid of this Finny. Um, is the Sunstill Strike going to be enough to get it from here? I would imagine so, yeah. Uh, we'll go for a... I probably want to keep Eveltal around, to be honest. I'm bringing Landorus. We've got a nice cover for that there and I'll go for the Sunsteel Strike into the Tapu Fini with Ultra Necrozma we will Ultra Burst uh, get Landorus onto the field and once we get rid of the Finny things get a bit easier for us for sure um, I wonder if the Nihiliga does protect I would imagine it does it's got to feel so pressured here and you probably want to try and get an Icy Wind off with, with Tapu Fini we're not going to see it protect, but as long as we get rid of the Finny, that's the big thing. That's the main thing here. Yeah, so we get rid of that issue. Substitute. Ooh. Tasty. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what comes in with Valtor. Okay, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Um... I'm going to Earthquake, and I'm going to Protect, I think. Oh, do we do that? I don't know. I feel like we might see the Nihiligo Protect here. I'm going to Protect the Landorus, and let's switch in Evelto. The problem is I see my opponent maybe go and Protect Nihiligo Tailwind with Evelto. That could be a big issue for us. And the substitute causes us all sorts of problems. It's just that they don't protect here, then yeah, they do protect. Okay. And if we do see the tailwind. Oh, I just foul play. It's into you, Veltal, though, so that's not too bad. Alright. I mean, I can take that. Our tailwind pit is out. So, um, they could go for the tailwind here. I'm going to earthquake. And I'm going to tailwind. Power gem, yeah. Oh, into Landorus. Huh. Are they going to try and get rid of Landorus? Yeah, they are. Okay. And get the tailwind up. I mean, that's better for us overall, to be honest. Um, it makes it difficult for us to deal with the Eveltal, though. I think that's the one thing that is a bit awkward to deal with right now. Uh, but we get the Raichu in. Um, I think we'll follow... Yeah, we'll... The Uvalto is just foul play, the Nine Legos is power gem. Let's fake out the Uvalto and go for a foul play into the Nine Lego. If it goes for a protect, then we can lock it in the next turn. I don't think it's going to. It's going to try and get the knockout onto our Uvalto, but doing this gets... Rid of that sub. Um, it probably takes Evelto down. That's the problem here. And the job for our Ultra Necrozma is getting more difficult as time goes on. 
I think the turn we tailwind did, we might have been better off actually just foul playing into the Nile Ego. Um, like, honestly, that would probably be a better play. We could double into the Veltal now, Volt Switch, and go Sunsteel Strike, and hope that's enough to take it down. I'm not sure it is. Yeah, the Nile Ego are going to protect, so there's the... There's that. <clears throat> Sunsteel Strike. Let's see what this damage is like. Come on, surprise me. Ultra Necrozma. We needed the Wild Charge here, I think. Tailwind. Please. Oh, it's a berry. Oh, man. This is... Yeah, I think this might be... This might be our first loss this week. Foul play coming out into... Oh, we'll take this. No. <laughs> we'll take it. Nah, nah, we'll not take that. Um, yeah, we're done for now. We can lock, we can lock the Nilego into protect with Encore. But I mean, there's not really much point at this at this stage. We're kind of done. So I'll go for the Volt Switch. We'll probably see the demise of Raichu here. Uh, the Berry on the Veltal proving really, really good for my opponent. Um, and really nice team composition. They played it well. The substitute on the Nilego support and everything super, super well. As we see a sludge bomb into the right tube and a foul play here. So again, like what I was saying with the testing process, this is a team that is really one of those ones where um, you need to like really dig down deep and, and have a look and and see why it went wrong and what went wrong with it. Say, could we have brought maybe something else that would have helped us out a bit more in that match? And what was awkward about finding our board position and was it something that was just we were lacking completely or was it something to do with how we played that match and i think that's the first bit that you identify and if it's and once you identify that first bit then you can address it and say right well if we play this archetype again in the future well well we need to lead this we need to have this board position at all times we need to have these switching options at all times and keep that in mind and that makes it easier whereas when you if it's a pokemon deficit or a support option or an attacking option deficit that's when you need to look at the team and think right what can we change up here to make it uh, a bit different where we're not sacrificing too much of what the team's made up of so far and that I feel that's the more difficult side of it but are the two sides of things that you need to always take into consideration so those losses are really valuable I'm gonna look back at the loss myself have a look where we could have went differently and uh, make sure that we improve on that going forward in the week and if we make changes next week coming into this series um, pending if we continue this next week then um, that's obviously gonna be something that we'll take into consideration but we're gonna end it there guys thank you so much for tuning in we're three and one at the minute it's not so bad we've had some really great games this week congratulations to all my opponents uh, good game to every single one of them thank you all for tuning in I hope you if you've enjoyed it do leave your comments down below and i'll see you for the next one so until then take care and bye bye